مايكل ساركن طبعا هو مؤلف كتاب 20 دقيقه 20 دقيقه مشي في منهافن مستر ساركن موجود هون باستضافه من معهد عمان معهد عمان مستضيفه من اجل ورشات عمل ومن اجل الكتاب تبعه اليوم بدنا نعمل له لو سمحتوا يا شباب لو سمحتوا اليوم بدنا نعمل له جوله تعريفيه ببعض مناطق العاصمه يعني هذا النشاط مش نشاط للفاستوك هذا نشاط لاجل السيد مايكل هذا رقم واحد رقم اثنين بهمني تعرفوا انه اليوم ما كان في التزام بالفستات بس لازم اخبركم انه يوم الاحد الفستات اساسيه مره ثانيه كثير مهم رح تزعلوا مني فرجاء يعني اليوم ما صار تشديد لانه اليوم النشاط مش للفاستوك احنا عم نتعاون مع معهد عمان من اجل الاستاذ مايكل بدي اترك لكم دقيقتين كلمه للاستاذ مايكل So, of course, um, I'm always nervous when there is laughter during an introduction. So, I... In that case, fine. So, what a fantastic turnout this is. I am so thrilled to be here. I think, I think it may have been explained that I have just written a book about walking in New York. And it's a book that records almost 20 years of walking... Huh? Almost 20 years of walking from my apartment to my studio in downtown New York. I do this every day, and it is one of the most important parts of my life. And I am absolutely thrilled to see this crowd um, out here to take a walk. I was just saying to our comrade here that I've come back from Dubai, uh, and you are legendary. Everybody said, oh, you're going to Jordan to walk. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, I think walking is very important in the city. Thank you, madam. I think, I think walking is very important in the city for a number of reasons, um, one of which uh, a very important one of which is the fact that the largest area of space given over to public ownership and public use are the streets and sidewalks of our city. And one of the ways in which we express the right to our own cities to use our cities the way we wish is by making sure that we have continuous and pleasurable as access to our streets and sidewalks. And your repeated walking through the streets and sidewalks of Amman is your way of asserting that, as we used to say in the 1960s, the streets belong to the people. Um, repeated walking is also the way in which a lover of cities encounters his or her beloved. We see the small changes, the transformations over time, the little events that take place every day. Um, and this is also the way we come to know and love our cities and prepare to make the kinds of transportation, uh, transformation that will make the cities accessible to us um, and more beautiful. Um, uh, as I say, I, I want to emphasize this democratic aspect of walking. And one of the geniuses, one of the reasons that we li live in cities and one of the marks of great cities is that they are places in which we have accidents. I'm talking about a particular kind of accident, a happy accident, not the accident that takes place when you are hit by a car or you meet your ex-girlfriend uh, who you would prefer not to see. But I am talking about the accident in which you meet a friend, you encounter a new event in the city, you make a new acquaintance, something jumps out uh, and tells you um, that this is your city and this is a place to love. So walking is the medium by which urban accidents, which I believe is completely central to the idea of the democratic city and the good city, can only be produced by walking. And one of your challenges, I don't know Amman very well, but one of the things that's easy to observe is that there is a very disproportionate relationship between the space that is provided for the automobile and the space that is provided for the walk. <laughs> and your struggle is to reverse this balance. In New York, I am arguing all the time that we have vast excess of automobile space. And that one of the things that I'm constantly suggesting is, why don't we just arbitrarily say, we are going to take 50% of the automobile space and give it to the people. So you're walking in the street, and don't stay on the sidewalk, for God's sake. Challenge the police, assert your rights to the street, and you will rebalance this city in favor 
uh, of your life on feet. And I, I, I would generalize even more. I have, I've not been much in Amman, but I've been in many cities in the Middle East. And the genius of the morphology of Islamic cities in particular is that they are cities of walkers. The glories of the architecture of the Islamic world are the souks, the narrow lanes, the complexity, these places which produce sociability, accident, random encounters, intimate relations with merchants. You know, I, I'm, my wife, uh, who has lived in the same miserable apartment with me for uh, over 25 years, wants to move. And I am saying to her, yes, honey, I am willing to move, but I will not move more than five blocks from where we live because the intimate relationships that I have with the dry cleaner and the news dealer and the owner of the cafe and the man in the drugstore, these are the substance of what it means to be an urbanist. And only by encountering them on a daily basis, seeing the changes, being there on foot, not whizzing by in the automobile, can we have truly beautiful, just, and humane cities. And I want to congratulate you and you for this dramatic and wonderful